if you're writing query functions and you haven't discovered pivot yet, you might be thinking that Google Sheets queries are kind of boring. Like they, yeah, they can do stuff like this, pull in, you know, pull in data sources from elsewhere, do some basic counting and you end up with kind of a, a table like this. Um, you can do counting of, for example, you have like this table of tweets that if you've, if you've watched in the other query videos or you're familiar with the Coding is for Losers courses, we always talk about Twitter data, right? And analyzing Twitter data. So you can use queries to do some basic stuff and do some basic counting. But what if you want to display an actual report and you want to show changes over time? You want to have this kind of like two-dimensional table um, with maybe dates across the top and Twitter handles on the on the kind of y-axis here on the left. Uh, to do that, generally in Google Sheets, you'd use, or Excel or any spreadsheet uh, program, you'd use pivot tables. Um, but I actually just discovered not too long ago that the Google Sheets query function actually has a pivot, um, a pivot element to it that you can use to do the exact same thing. Um, so let's talk about how this works. If, you've, if you're familiar with Google Sheets queries, um, the first piece of this is just the data source that we're pulling from. So like I said before, we're going to analyze this Twitter data. Uh, if I can pull this up, just a handful of sample tweets we have in here that have the tweet text, the handle, the count of retweets. Um, and really just our goal here is to do uh, a sum of the retweets. Let's change this up. It's not right sum of retweets by day for all these handles. So the way that we do that is we say, okay, column C is our, um, our handle. Sum of D is our, uh, is our retweets, where retweets is greater than or equal to zero. That's just saying, don't, don't give me any blank rows here. Uh, group by the handle, so group by C. And then the key here is we're pivoting by the date, which if you remember, was in column A here. So we're saying, just give me a pivot by that date. If we remove the pivot, uh, we'll just have a regular query function, a regular you know grouped sum of all the handles and, and their retweets. But if we throw the pivot back in here, then we get those dates. So if you're making reports where you need to show like a time series, maybe you need to show like months across the top here, uh, pivot is the way to go.